Well, it scared someone. It done its job right. I'm Mary. That's such a creepy look on Lance. He looks a lot like a Green Goblin. I could have been a cool fan casting if Spider-Man was in the 80s or 90s. to another movie reaction. Today will be Pumpkinhead 1988. This is the first time I'm going to watch this movie. I, for some reason, have never got around to watching it considering it is directed and prosthetically built by Stan Winston, who is pretty much the genius of sci-fi horror. I mean, the man's catalog is insane when it comes to horror. Uh, he did help create the big three, uh, the Alien Queen, the Predator, and the Terminator with various other stuff as well. I love Iron Man 1 and he was involved with building the Mark 1, 2 and 3, which is probably the best suits in that franchise and the whole universe itself, just because it was a practical suit that was built. And yeah, this movie does have the cult classic term attached to it. And I'm pretty sure it really was that impactful because many, many years down the line, you go to trick or treat where Sam's design was heavily inspired by this. So maybe the story is kind of similar where this is an entity just like Sam from Trick or Treat. It will be interesting to see how this goes. And I'll pretty much end my rambling there and get straight into it because I am pretty interested to see how this movie goes. So if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you like and sub. I'll put the movie here and we'll get right into it. Gotta love those 80s synth waves. I'm really interested in this. Oh, Lance Hendrickson's in this. Okay. The original T-800. And obviously Bishop in Aliens. 1957, that's a great start with cocking the shotgun like that. What's wrong with Dad and I? Nothing, Eddie. You mind me and you go right to sleep here? Is this going to be like some... Alien invasion type thing where Pumpkinhead maybe is crash landed into this barn. It seems a bit on edge there, the dad. Something's definitely up. What did he say out there? Be alright. Should I be afraid? <laughs> Probably be very afraid. Well, it scared someone and done its job right. I'm Mary! Yeah, this guy's not having the best time out there. Maybe go help him. Open up, Tom, it's me, Clay Keller! Tom! Oh, he's not gonna open it. They barricaded the door as well. God in heaven, Tom. Okay, just sit here. You have to, Ellie. So it has nothing to do with us. I didn't kill that girl. I don't know nothing about that, and I don't want to. I said I did, Tom, but I did. No, I'm sorry, I am. So there's a girl that died? Okay. <laughs> Rough spot to land there. Hey, you can hide like the predator. Thought maybe this guy had the predator vision. Maybe mud could protect him. No. That's a nice shot there of the fog and all that. Okay, so Lance is the kid. All grown up. Alright. So he's seen some shit. What, what was he doing there? Torching a body up? Do 
Jay, I hope nothing happens to that dog. I swear. Not at the table, Billy. Put it off for hungry day. Put it in the bowl. I still want to know who was torching up. What was he doing there? This is something. It goes around your neck. But this is something special. You really like it? I love it. It's like the spaghetti jewelry kids met at school. <laughs> was this Fast and Furious? Why do you always have to carry that stupid rifle with you? These guys are drinking and driving. I wonder where they are. Maybe Arizona or somewhere in the desert. Maybe somewhere in the south. They had pretty southern accents to be fair. All this fun montage. Something's gonna go bad. We heard a story a couple years ago about a guy who killed his wife and ate her just to get rid of the evidence. Yeah. Was that the guy who was at the start of the movie in the 50s flashback? I do. This was the guy. Yeah, I wouldn't play around with that. He probably is. And he's probably dead if that's true. Civilization is behind us. No, Gypsy! Wait, where's the dog on? Whoa, 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 whoa. That's, like... That's not a good sign. Gypsy, no. Check out this kid's glasses. We're talking Coke bottles. Jesus. I hate bullies. Assume this guy's dead. <laughs> What's that? It's a camera, stupid. Yeah, it's my camera. Hey, so See? Here, hey, can I take your picture? Okay, so they're pretty like secluded because they didn't know what a camera was. And this was what present day, I guess, eighties. Jimmy Joe, you done bad. Y'all know what settles on bad ones, <laughs> don't you? Pumpkin head. Pumpkin head. Y'all stop. There ain't no pumpkin head. Okay, so it's like a folklore, like a myth in the town, okay. Yeah, right, let's not traumatize the kid. Okay, so he definitely remembers it. Summer stop these kids. Hey. Great people. Surely these are really great locals here. Billy, bring Gypsy inside out of the sun for a while. Yes, Daddy. Yeah, maybe just stay away from these idiot kids too. Pretty good. He's a jerk. Yeah, but he's a talented jerk. <laughs> nah, he's just a jerk jerk. Yeah, I agree. Billy, I want you to stay right here at my things, okay? I gotta fetch something up the house. Yes, Daddy. And then we take us a little ride. I don't think that's the smartest idea. I reckon just lock up the store and leave together. I don't trust any of these kids here. Especially these ones. At least lock that door. Gypsy! No! I swear, if that dog gets ran over by these idiot kids... Was this Cujo? What is this? A pet cemetery? Don't move him. He just came out of nowhere. Oh, is he all right? Where's he running off to? He's just gonna run off? What do you think you're doing? You stay on fucking. Is that what you want? It, it was an accident. I almost hit him myself. Yeah, but I've been drinking. They'll fry me. Yeah, okay. I mean, he should just take the responsibility. He shouldn't run off. It's still a bitch move. What are you doing? Get in the car. Get in the car. No, we can't just let him. Okay, I, I had some sympathy for him now. 
Not anymore. He's still driving drunk, right? So... I mean, at least one of them stayed back and was responsible, but he's probably going to get killed, though. <laughs> yeah, he's running at you. Oh, I thought he was going to strike him. <laughs> Can I help? I mean, I feel like this guy's probably going to die because he's all alone, but... He was definitely the most responsible out of them all. Did you call for help? I'm assuming that's a no. Okay. You're not going anywhere. Hey! Okay, this guy's an asshole. He's on probation right now. If the police find out about They're not gonna find yeah. out about it. So this is his second time injuring a child. Okay, this guy hasn't learnt shit. Just give me the keys, all right? <laughs> nice. How many more charges does this guy want? He's got probation, careless and reckless driving. Now he wants what? Assault? <laughs> the kid's not dead, is he? I think he just got really badly concussed, right? He's not dead. So this idiot has just kept his friends hostage. Are you okay? Hey! This guy's an idiot. He's just... What a terrible friend. I think everything's gonna be okay. Really? Yeah. Did you tell him what happened? I told him it was an accident. And? And he, and he just looked at me. What do you mean he just looked? Yeah, he's probably gonna brutally murder you. He looked at me like he wanted to kill me. It's that T-800 stare. Unload the feed, I'll be out directly. Okay, so he's here to deliver whatever... He forgot at the store. But these guys were talking about pumpkin head, so surely they know. Well, they obviously do know. Some folks would say is how she's got powers. I never heard no such woman. Mr. Wallace, please. I can't tell you what I don't know. He definitely knows something. But he's also seen it as a child as well, so it's definitely real. What killed him? Say, folks. Over. Wait, killed him? Is he dead? She's the only one that can help him. Like I said, I'm sorry. You got to tell me, God damn it. She can't help him. All she can do is take you straight to hell. Okay, so pumpkin head is a f woman. So he died on impact from that bike? I mean, I guess. Be careful, let's not get another kid killed. He almost ran over this one. I heard you talking to my grandpa. I know who you're looking for. Don't be smart, I was just tell him. She's up on Black Ridge. Get it back. Uh -uh, no way. Let's so maybe not make this a hostage situation. It's as far as I go. You keep on straight. Follow this road to your camp. You come to a cabin, that's her. So. It kind of is like Sam from Trick or Treat, where this creature's a kind of an entity. Or maybe it's not even Pumpkinhead, maybe it's just like some random woman who's kind of into like witchcraft and stuff like that, that typical horror stuff. The person or the locals fear and that, it's probably this one here. Looks like straight out of Friday the 13th. Owls are so... majestic.
So it is a witch of sorts. Brave reason the dead is within my power. So she can't raise the dead? So my god. This is everything. Oh, so spiders there? When I was young, folks used to talk about you, said it's how you do things. But if a man had been wronged, he could come to you and you called upon this thing. Pumpkin head. Okay. What you ask? Got a powerful prize. So there has to be a catch, right? You raise this guy to come and avenge on wrongdoings, but you have to pay a price. Way back deep in them woods. Mountain folk used to bury kin in there. Bring a shovel. The thing you're looking for is in there. Okay, so he's legitimately just going to get this creature to kill these kids. I'm really liking the aesthetic of this movie too. It's changing up quite a bit. We started off like in a southern desert, dusty place, and now you're getting like this gothic fog place, swamp. It's interesting. And so far I like the mystery of Pumpkinhead where they're not really explaining much and I kind of like that. They're explaining enough for people to understand, but they're not doing something like Prometheus where it's pretentious. So that's the grave. Why is it so raised? Maybe that's how massive this thing is. Pumpkin head has a lot of pumpkins there. I mean, it fits. What the? I still think this is a really <laughs> unique revenge story where it's like this guy's gonna just raise the dead and get this creature to kill these teens. What is it? It's what you wanted, and Harley. For each of man's evil. So it kind of is like Sam. Obviously, you can tell where that influences from this movie, where he kind of punishes people that don't do well. Yeah gonna awake him i mean honestly are all the teens gonna get killed because i think that biker guy is the only one that should get killed if anything because he's not the the best person wait what what happened i love these practical effects Oh, wait, is that the price? He's gonna probably physically die and become this monster now. Yeah, I think that's what happened. He basically put his soul into the creature and now he's gonna die, maybe? Looks like he's not doing too well. Yeah, I don't know if it was worth it at the end. She definitely said there was a price to pay if you do this. So yeah, you would avenge your son, but something has to be lost, pretty much. I wonder, is this going to be a pet cemetery situation? Is this kid going to come back, like, zombified? Why are these just gone wandering off? I mean, she's probably had a mental breakdown because the kid died. <laughs> right, okay, so something's happening to him as well. It's affecting him. Pumpkinhead's just gonna go on a rampage, even though this guy was pretty much 
innocent. I mean, he was the only one that's done the right thing. Well, they're just gonna go out and shoot. Steve! These guys are just quick into action to get the guns and just run out. And yeah, something's definitely happened to him. Maybe he's slowly turning into it too. God is the only thing that can stop what's out there, Kim. I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, let's not kill your own. What are we gonna do? I don't know. We've gotta get the hell out of here. We're not going anywhere without Steve. Steve's dead. You you can't do much. Maggie, wait! <laughs> well, you found him. Why is he just holding the gun in the background? Couldn't he just shoot the guy's arm? <laughs> So this is when the whole group splits up and acts like idiots. I don't know if he can vision what's going on. Maybe that's what's happening. He's kind of connected with it because of the blood. It's kind of got a werewolf look with the hind legs. That's something we've actually been missing in horror for a while, is a really good werewolf horror movie. You gotta stop it. It's what you wanted. No, not like this. Not like this. Yeah, you're pretty much out of options now. I mean, what did you expect, to be fair? So now it makes me more interested about the start of the movie. Who revived Pumpkinhead to kill that guy at the start? It had to be someone else. In a similar situation. <laughs> That's gruesome. Oh, here we go. His prized possession there. He's got to be pissed. What happened to her? She just get knocked out. I mean, to be fair, anyone would go unconscious looking at that. No! It's picking off everyone one by one. No! No! Just ruthless. We gotta move, man. To be fair, it's all his fault. All he could have done is maybe be a bit more nice <laughs> about the fact that he murdered a kid. I don't know. We gotta move. Let's go. Help! Are they gonna run into the the kids? The the other group? Get us! Please! They all know about it, so they're not gonna even have any relations with these idiots. Yeah, right. Let's maybe not rob these guys. Empty your hands, son. <laughs> Get away from here. Look, mister. We got something chasing us. I don't think he cares at all. You folks, he's marked. Marked? What do you mean, marked? You're marked by that. It kind of has a, a Predator-esque design as well. Maybe just the way it moves. Who shot it? So what's going to happen now? Because he's intervened with it. Is he going to be marked now? Joel, don't be cocky. It's dead. Yeah, see, he... Yeah. He can't really do much if this thing's going to kill the people because he kind of gets... Knocked out. Actually, it looks more like the newborn alien from uh, Resurrection, if anything. Did Stan Winston have anything to do with that movie? I think he did, didn't he?
They're connected, okay. They both feel pain. So he has to probably die in order to kill the pumpkin head, right? Because they're, like, blood connected. Maybe you should have read the instructions before you <laughs> started doing this. They did say there was a price to pay. Grandpa, you sure that thing ain't gonna hurt the animals? It only kills what it was called upon to kill. Them and whatever gets in its way. Okay. Lance is dead then, because he got in its way and intervened. But then at the same time, it's still part of him, right? So yeah, they're pretty much screwed at this point. <laughs> Unless Lance somehow kills it by sacrificing himself. Oh, I feel this kid might go out and help. Maybe that's what he's doing now. He's probably going to go out. <laughs> Nothing, as as he does something. Grandpa will find out when you're dead, so. Did you get a look at it? What you look like is big. What's going on? I'm trying to help you. Yeah, let's <laughs> strangle the kid. Nobody gets to the door. Didn't they hear us? They can hear you. They don't have to help. Right, and I don't really blame them. Is he going to go to the witch's house? Actually, yeah, he's the one that knows that old lady's place. So, yeah, if you bring it to that place, what happens? Maybe you got to bury it. My grandpa fixed the whole family together. And he told us that some outsider folks had done something real bad. Like, ran over a kid. <laughs> pumpkin head? That's what it's called. Because it comes from the old pumpkin patch graveyard. Okay. It's fused with the pumpkins and that buried kid. One man does something bad to another man. It's got to be something real bad. Something like kill him. And that other man can have pumpkin head conjured up to take revenge. The kid at the stand. Yeah. There you go. But why would these guys die if they didn't single handedly done it? It was the other guy, the Fonz look. What I also love about these old school horrors is how dark lit everything is. Not where you can't physically say anything but it's just to hide the fact that it is a practical suit so you have to work with what you have alien and aliens is a perfect example predator as well it makes the movie more tangible that these people are acting to a physical thing and not a tennis ball yeah now looking at it it definitely gives me newborn alien resurrection vibes okay so it's collecting like memorabilia from the kills because that's the bike and they're the cars and I assume maybe the bodies will be next yeah I don't know is that gonna work <laughs> did you just laugh come on you had time to react to get off that <laughs> Yeah, Chris is dead at this point. You just have to run. You gotta enter that old lady's house, see what's up. Can't stop. No one can. Somebody can. He definitely looks sane. They probably could have... Are they gonna at least come back and save this guy? Or they're just gonna leave him? I think they're gonna leave him by the looks of it. So we got pretty much the final girl here. She was the more friendly one of the bunch, I think. She was the one interacting with the kid and this guy's family. So being kind gets you somewhere. Why would he go for that kid? That kid didn't do anything wrong. So he's turning into it. Chris, I love that Chris just crawled his way here. That's such a creepy look on Lance. He looks a lot like a Green Goblin. I could have been a cool fan casting if Spider-Man was in the 80s or 90s.
Burn it. Burn him. Whoa, what? Did he do it to himself? What happened? Yeah, he did. Okay. Because it's intertwined with him. Why that kid? He had nothing to do with this, right? <laughs> Who's she gonna choose to shoot though? Him or the creature? She just chose him. That was the faux vibes there. <laughs> did that guy at least live there who was crawling? Okay, yeah, he did survive. He's moving down there. And there you go. She's just going to bury this kid back again and... On to the next person seeking revenge, I guess. Ah. Okay. Interesting. So, it's still kept that chain. So, that was 1988's Pumpkinhead. Uh, overall, I had fun with it. I think it was an enjoyable movie. It's not the greatest horror movie by any chance but it is fun and I feel it's more of a passion project movie for Stan Winston in between making bigger blockbuster movies like Aliens and Predator and so forth and it's a nice change to see Lance Hendrickson as the lead role for once. I'm used to him as like secondary background characters and mind you he's very good at them and he's pretty good in this as well. It's nice to see him get again, a lead role and have more of the spotlight. And yeah, I think it's a shame that Lance didn't really get a lot of movie roles, but he is pretty much in like the best sci-fi movies of all time. So at least he has that on his resume. But I would have loved to have seen him. I also mentioned that at the end of the movie when he kind of changes into the pumpkin head, he kind of reminiscences comic book Green Goblin. And I think he would have been a pretty good... Uh, choice to be that role if Defoe wasn't going to do it. And yeah, just speaking on Pumpkinhead as the design itself, it looked really, really cool. Again, I love prosthetic effects when it comes to like Rick Baker and all those guys or the legends in the past. I love the effects and this is really, really good. And now watching this movie, I definitely see its influence with the mythology and the appearance to Sam from Trick or Treat. I do see the comparison. But yeah, overall, I did enjoy this movie. It's fun. It's a good B-tier movie, similar to like a B-movie Carpenter. You know, it's just there to be fun movie and really lightheartedness, regardless of the kills as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure you like and sub, and I'll see you in the next one.